Two of the Newtonian players gathered to honor the memory of William J. Bell, who was born on Christmas Day, 1902, and to celebrate his considerable achievements as a performer and teacher. The arrangements of traditional Christmas carols performed on, on that historic occasion, the first two of Christmas, were contributed by American composer Alec Wilder, who coincidentally died Christmas Eve, 1980. It is therefore fitting that every pedagogy and up to all the composers, or, I'm sorry, that every two of Christmas was dedicated to the great performers who gave us our methods and videos, I'll take my, uh, and to all composers who have embraced our instruments and solo and ensemble compositions. It is important that we share with the public audience the celebration of our heritage. It is an opportunity to demonstrate our serious commitment to music and showcase the beauty of our instruments and ensemble. Anyone who has heard a Tuba Christmas concert will never forget the experience. It is therefore no wonder that Tuba Christmas has become a tradition in cities throughout the world since 1974. And we'd like to uh, welcome everyone here to uh, Sandestin Baytown and particularly welcome all the uh, performers that we have up here on stage. Uh, we have approximately 100 tuba and euphonium players up here, which is pretty incredible, and the sound you're about to hear is, is equally incredible. And before we get started here, I'd like to uh, introduce our conductor, Mr. Eddie Stedman. Now the first tune that we will play is number one in the book, and the text to O Come All Ye Faithful, originally written in Latin, the best day for those, and was intended to be a hymn. It is attributed to John Wade in English. The music to O Come All Ye Faithful was composed by fellow Englishman John Reddy in the early 1700s. The tune was first published in a collection known as Campus Diversity in 1751. In 1841, Reverend Frederick Oakley is reputed to have worked on the familiar translation of O Come All Ye Faithful, which replaced the older Latin lyrics of Des De Fidelis. is sometimes credited with the lyrics of Denton Halls, but he only edited, edited the Franklin Square song collection in which the lyrics were first published. The first publication date, 
day of death of Holmes is 1881. The author is unknown, but the words are said to be originated in America. Number three, death of the Holmes. simple carol are repeated to be one of the oldest carols. God rest you, Mary Jones. 